Hey everyone. Well, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I'm over here at TCS Motorsports on their dyno. Um, I was here, you can see the video right, yeah, right somewhere about there. Um, I was testing the, uh, the headers and we actually got some really good numbers on that. So you should go check out that video. But these coils, there was a lot of interest when some of you guys might have seen the post after making that last video about the coils and the video here, I'll link it right here. I got one of these and this is off the uh, 2GR FKS and these end up with about like 32% more energy in the spark. The question that I keep getting is do these make more power? Well, I'm here, <laughs> I've got a car with these. I'm gonna put these in here. Based on everything I've seen, I don't think we're gonna get more power, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. And the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna even gap the plugs a little wider and see if that makes more power. So we'll do two sets of runs. Well, three, we've got the, the ones with the stock coils, but we're just gonna use the runs that we did for the, uh, the header just a few minutes ago. FKS coils are in right now with what should be about a one millimeter gap and uh, let's do a dyna pull. I promise we didn't gain 60 foot pounds of torque at 2800 RPM. I, uh, I'm gonna delete that and we're gonna do another run. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Oh, there it is. I think it's not getting a good tax signal. I think that's what's going on. We made 7,200 foot-pounds of torque! <laughs> we gotta keep that! <laughs> oh, world record! <laughs> well, I... <clears throat> so what you see here, I do believe you really want to upgrade to these coils because, I mean, they gain you, what, 6,900 foot-pounds of torque? Why would you go with anything else? No, seriously. Um, <laughs> what's going on is these coils seem to not want to read the tack signal quite as well. So need to work on that a little bit. I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the uh, ignition off. Since we've got this exact vehicle, we're gonna compare it using vehicle speed. I'm not sure why I'm not able to get a good tack signal off of it. Um, Either way, there's no reason to let it stop us today. All right, so running on, uh, you can see the axis here became vehicle speed. Um, and we lost our torque chart, but that's expected. So, but this is the horsepower we can see. Honestly, yeah, I'm going to do another pull right now, and I bet this ends up picking this up. It always takes a couple runs on the dyno to kind of warm up for some reason. I can't explain that, it just does.
All right, so we've actually got something I totally wasn't expecting, but in hindsight, it makes sense. Let's go check it out. Yeah, shut up. So what you can see here is every subsequent run, we lost horsepower. Remember, remember when I said that these coils fire about 100 microseconds faster? Actually, probably, there you go, there's light that way. When I said that these coils fire 100 microseconds faster, well, I think that's what we're seeing here. And I think what's happening is the ECU is detecting knock and it's backing things up and it's, it's richening up. And of course, it's going to be a little safe about it. It's possible that some of this would come back over time, but I think the answer is here. Um, 2JR FKS coils, they do hit harder and they work. They work as you can see, but I think on a vehicle that hasn't been tuned for them, it's, uh, it's a bad idea. Now, I think these are, these are going to be fantastic for turbo builds or for anybody that is putting their own tune on it. But essentially, if you do the math, we're adding about four degrees of timing here. And I mean, it makes sense that it's pissing off the computer. It's too much timing, right? Like what's, what this is running right now is this is the ECU that I sell. And this thing's been pretty much maxed out for premium fuel. So on a stock ECU, maybe you'll see some gains because it doesn't quite have enough timing, but I definitely wouldn't do it without putting it on a dyno to check. All right, well, not the results I expected, but enjoy. We'll see you guys later.